what's going on what's going on y'all got a message i got a message all right we just gonna jump right into it y'all already know how i feel about y'all i love y'all so much all right so the lovers card came out in reverse and the three of cups now this is gonna be a deep message all right so you could easily think oh third party he was cheating she was cheating and spirit is telling me to touch up on the difference between a comic and a difference between somebody step out, stepping out on a relationship because they're not happy. All right? There's a difference. So let's get into the lover's card in reverse. The lover's card signifies Gemini energy. It's the twins. It means two souls coming together and learning. Like, But this is deep learning. Gemini, you know, energy is flexible and clever talking with each other. Is reading and searching for knowledge. That's why it's the love of this call. It's like a soulmate because you could get all of that information out of one another. Gemini also would rather prefer to skim through shit quickly and then grow. So that's why it's very important to understand when you are in a soulmate connection and a lover's energy, you're supposed to grow with one another and continue to blossom. Like, don't stay stagnant. And I feel like Something came about in this relationship where it flipped. All right. It's like when you were in Gemini, uh, that's a situation. So when one of you guys and in in some of you guys are in a situation where you in a Gemini energy where rather superficial, you, you're, you're taking us, you have a superficial attitude, meaning that opinions can change easily in your relationship because you learn on a deep level. And you learn quickly from somebody, which is fine if a non-judgmental approach is taken. So you learn it from somebody, things is changing. And if you don't have that other person that's willing to be on that level and that same type of timing with you, changing quickly and easily and everything is flowing because there's a lot of knowledge growing. And then you got to make sure this person is not judgmental. Since the energy doesn't have strong morals or an instant belief. Like you just going with the flow. All right. And seeing both sides to an argument, Gemini can easily switch. All right. Finding it difficult to attach to something and stay with it forever. So in this situation, one of you guys is ascending and embodying this Gemini, this twin energy. And you are realizing that this person that was once your soulmate, it doesn't have all the attributes that I just mentioned. Also, you, the Gemini energy could like, you could find yourself taking like pleasure in conversations, um, going all over the place. All right, since Gemini's take like a mischievous delight in running rings around shit too. So you remember, everything got a positive and a negative to it. So being that I even said that, thank you, Spirit is telling me to touch up on, you see all the good attributes, the deep knowing, the change, the, the, the leveling up that one can have with the Gemini energy. Then there's another person connected to this person and also the Gemini energy, but the lower vibrational Gemini energy, which is, which is finding it difficult to see, see the higher perspective. This other person is in Gemini energy of finding pleasure and having conversations that's going all over the place. All right? This person is, uh, since Gemini takes the mischievous approach of things, when it's coming to like trying to add fuel to the fire, this person is carrying on, on those attributes. So there's, there's a, ooh. You see, it was about the full. You see, it was about the full collectives. There's an imbalance, Spirit is saying. That's why I did that. All right? Because it is in reverse. All right? And also, when you think about Gemini, there's a tendency of gossip. Y'all got to Google this stuff. So if this call appears, especially in reverse in a reading, it might be that someone is speaking out of turn. Or indulging in shit that they don't got no business doing. All right? You should make sure that you are not being told a story that is not exactly true. If someone is like backed up in a corner too, 
and um, switching up their words and moving funny is probably that person. This card indicates that it is like a changeable situation happening because I just, I just, you know, express to you both sides of Gemini's personalities. So there's an imbalance in this relationship. And I feel like this three of cups energy is someone thinking that they once was going to be married to this person or really be and really, really in love like so many energy and they're really missing their old life. They really missing hanging out, whether you are masculine or feminine. You tired of the imbalance. You tired of you soul searching and trying to be flexible and clever. You know what I'm saying? Trying to communicate. And you know what's so crazy? Thank you, spirit. Gemini governs the third house. And this is the three of cups. Wow. Gemini governs the third house, guys. So the third house... It's all about, it's the area of your life that contains the potential to learn something new. It contains the potential to not only learn something new, but perhaps by reading, by writing, by attending a workshop, meeting new people, online specifically. All right? It's about how you are shaped in your childhood and that you want to grow. You want to heal. It's all about education and it's all about the matter may also concern your local environment or neighborhood. It also really talks about social networking and websites and all of that stuff. So there's someone here in a soulmate connection that may be common. That you are missing yourself. You are learning stuff on the internet. You are learning deeper knowledge. And this person is not. This person is taking the, the negative, the, the dark side of the Gemini energy, which is gossip, feeding into shit, switching words around, while one is taking a positive side of the Gemini energy of the lover's card and actually wanting to grow, attending seminars, reaching out to people, communicating online, researching and shit like that. So it's bigger than just third party. Now, this person, one of you guys, whoever is in a more positive energy and a more positive light of this Gemini energy may be, you know, in this energy of wanting to explore, realizing like this is not this is not emotionally fulfilling. I'm even getting like y'all might not even be having sex or y'all not sexually attracted to this person. Like it's on a deeper scale than just cheating. And I'm being told to, you know, talk about this in my channel because we say comics, but it's a thin line between comic and somebody that's just realizing that they don't want to be in a, in a relationship that held history. All right? This is somebody that has been learning a lot online and learning about, you know, what is outside of this connection. How much fulfilling it is. Even just hanging out. So I think that is actually going to be, I know that was a lot, but that I, I literally got all of that. It's a difference. Yeah, look, not today. Somebody don't even want to talk. It's not interesting. Think interesting. Um, what I'm getting from this call is the conversations. Remember what I said, Gemini energy. And if you add it to the third house, because Gemini governs the third, um, Gemini governs the third house. Some of you guys, y'all should see what um, placements is in y'all third house, but it's all about learning. It's all about having conversations with people that is on your same frequency that actually is educating you. And remember what I said, the dark side of Gemini is being on the phone with people gossiping. So spirit is really talking to somebody right here. Somebody just don't want to deal. Somebody has been hurt before and somebody has just been avoiding the real conversation that was supposed to be had. And that's about setting boundaries. Still angry with shit. You know what I'm saying? Realizing that this person is not for them. And it's okay to miss your old life. It is okay to feel like you've learned so much stuff. You hung out with different people. You meet in different people and you realizing there is another meaning of love there is friends that do want to help you grow and one is just finding it hard to get out of it tell me more spirit about this energy only clear messages yeah self-indulgence 
All right? Somebody is focusing on themselves. Somebody is realizing their self-worth. Somebody is realizing it's time to heal and literally doing shadow work. Meaning education, educating themselves on higher knowledge, probably be even being involved with this three of cup energy with people that's teaching them about all of this stuff. And they're appreciating themselves more. Somebody is self-indulging in their self. Ooh, thank you, spirit. And you see how these two energies is just opposite. You see how somebody is embodying that twin energy, that lover's energy to actually focus on themselves so they can actually meet their soulmate in the upright. Doing the healing work. Wow. Gaining self-love, self-care, taking time to heal, meeting people that can help them with shadow work. This could even be in the form of a tarot community. And they're just appreciating themselves. They're, they're making connection with themselves. That's going to catapult you to your actual divine union. And one is gossiping on the phone. One is literally hurt, but just telling the whole wide world. One is not setting healthy boundaries. So there's definitely an imbalance. Somebody does not want to be in this partnership no more. But it's not because they want to just go have sex. They literally are learning that it's more love out there to experience than what they was experiencing. And that's deep. So again, it's not going to be a reading for everybody. This is, this is real life. Heart with the key. All right. Somebody is welcoming in new love. So you see, somebody is welcoming a new love. So this love is called in reverse is about to be upright. And whoever is gossiping and um, possessing the attributes of the negative Gemini traits, they're going to be hurt. Because this person that's, that's, that's kind of um, attracting the, the positive Gemini traits, they welcoming a new love. All right, they're about to give somebody the key to their heart and it's going to blend. They're about, it literally says meeting the one. Somebody probably has met the one. Connecting. Three, three of Cups talks about reunions. It talks about celebrations. It talks about, I'm hearing links and drinks. So somebody is finding peace, finding happiness, learning that just because they felt a soulmate connection and a feeling that doesn't mean that they have to, this has to last forever. And sometimes people get caught up on feeling like they got to be with somebody forever. They literally waste their whole dreams and let their love go. But this person literally, it says, welcoming new love, meeting the one, opening their heart, and getting together perfectly. Like this is somebody that's getting together. So before we move forward, let's go over this. There is... Uh, soulmate that is coming to an end. There's a soulmate connection that is coming to an end because these two people is embodying the Gemini traits in different ways. One is embodying the positive Gemini traits and one is embodying the negative Gemini traits because the lover's card is the Gemini. It's the twin's energy, okay? One is gossiping and taking this information and running with it. And one is actually learning and doing something positive with the information. And not only that, they are actually linking up with people that is adding healing to, to their growth. They are actually indulging in self-worth, taking time to heal. Even They're even meeting people that are helping them with shadow work. They are appreciating, appreciating their self. And one is just talking on the phone, gossiping. All right? Drinking and linking up with friends. I'm hearing links and drinks. All right? Again. And now what's going on is they are realizing one of them that's embodying the, the positive Gemini trait is realizing that there's more love. They are literally about to welcome new love. They have met the one, whether they know it or not. And... They literally are opening up their heart. They are getting together. And I think that that's why this Three of Cups energy is here also. All right. So I'm going to get another deck for you guys. I'm going to go in with um, this deck right here. 
So I think this is going to be a deep soulmate reading. And I'm, I'm being cool to let y'all know that just because you think that you found your soulmate, that might have been a, le a life lesson to get you to where you need to be, to your actual kingdom spouse. Okay, so Spirit, what do I need to know about this um, reading? And you shouldn't feel bad for choosing yourself. You could leave your look. Around a crowd of people collect this. They are not happy. Say this is the feminine. Say one. Say one is um the positive Gemini and one is the negative Gemini. They not happy. And I feel like the masculine is like, okay, well, I'ma just enjoy my time while I'm here. I'm not gonna sit in sadness. And this divine feminine is finding it hard to come to terms with shit ain't coming right. But someone is definitely in the Four of Cups energy. And I feel like it's this woman. The Four of Cups energy is feeling unfulfilled. It's feeling bored. It's feeling just not in a mood. And maybe it's because she's thinking about this masculine possibly moving on. Possibly finding a one, meeting a one, opening up his heart, getting together, linking and drinking. But there's an opportunity for everyone. You just got to take that drink and, and, and engage. Be willing to have fun. Stop. Get your panties out the bunch. Because if this masculine has embodied this positive twin energy, Gemini energy, they go and leave because if they linking up and and in a positive way, remember, someone is self-indulging and focusing on themselves. Self-worth, healing, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Look what I told you. The Nine of Pentacles, they want to move to someone that is very fruitful. Someone that is not depressed. Someone that knows how to party instead of thinking about all the wrongs and all the disappointments and all the shit that's not working out. Not coming to a solution, especially at gatherings. I'm telling you, this masculine wants to be with somebody that is of the light, that is having a, a bull that is grounded, all right? That is focusing on themselves, that is basking in their self-worth and their healing. Doing major shadow work. The Nine of Pentacles talks about major shadow work. That's why this energy is able to bask in the abundance like this. When you think about the Knight of Pentacles, the Pentacles is not only money. It deals with money. Like you're literally, whoever is in this energy is literally in a good state financially. But it talks about spiritual inheritance. It talks about the value of money. It talks about you know, being productive with your finances. So I feel like this masculine is embodying that trait. And this woman is kind of taking on the negative attributes of the Gemini. And finding it hard to move forward. And realizing this probably once was a soulmate, but now it's not. Yeah, look. You know what's so crazy? This is a star card, but it got two people here. And I feel like it is this nine of pentacles. And I feel like it is this masculine in this picture drinking. And I feel like this person is finally realizing what life is like with somebody else. Maybe they bringing out a side of them that they never even knew. Maybe every time this person is away from this nine of pentacles energy, they just think about them. They in awe. They in a daze. And this person is finding it very hard to come to terms with, with this might be your past life soulmate. But in this lifetime, y'all both were supposed to learn. And this masculine is ascending. 
with this nine of pentacles or this nine of pentacles is just in his energy and he's attracted to her all right so we want to see why is who is this who is this person that's embodying the negative attributes well the dark attributes of um the twin energy, the, the, the Gemini energy with this lover's card. Spirit, who is embodying? Oh, a baby mother or a wife. So there's an empress, which is a baby mother or a wife. Somebody that is a mother, okay? This could even be a real mother. But... They are embodying the negative attributes of the Gemini, all right? And again, this could have probably been, she probably could have been with an emperor. A fire sign, Airy Leo, Sag, an emperor, that's an emperor. And, you know, the emperor is realizing that they found love elsewhere. You know, sometimes when I'm thinking about the empress and the emperor, when you in that energy, you think like you met your person. But what if you find a queen of cups or a queen of pinnacles? And you like, oh shit, this person is giving me a different energy. So again, you heard the question. It's a baby mother or a wife or a mother period that is embodying this negative twin Gemini energy of the lover's card. Who is embodying the positive attribute spirit, please and thank you. Who's embodying the positive attributes? Somebody that is confused. Somebody that is learning. Somebody is really um, going after their dreams and their options. Somebody that is realizing that it's more to that connection. Who is, I'm um, clarify, who is? This person realizing that they have options. Who is this spirit? Please and thank you. So we're going to actually shuffle that again. Spirit, who is the energy embodying the positive attributes of the Gemini energy? The love is called the twin energy, okay? Please and thank you. Only clear messages. Someone that is getting out of poverty. And I'm I'm getting a poverty mindset. This person don't probably is discreet because they're not coming up as like we don't know who this person is. But I we but we but what we could um tell is that this person is not confused no more. The seven of cups speaks about confusion and uh, the five of cup, the five of pentacles speaks about being left out in the cold, not having no money, not having the mental to make good decisions. All right. But this person is no longer feeling left out in the cold because they know that they got other options. Maybe at one time, this person felt confused about leaving and feeling like if they leave, they're going to be left out in the cold with no money. But now this person is not worrying about that no more. This person has met people outside of this soulmate connection in reverse that has made them realize that it's light at the end of the tunnel, whether they be with this person or not. Before this person was confused, this person wasn't independent. This person was codependent because they felt like they was going to be left out in the cold. But now this is in reverse. This person don't give a fuck no more. This person is realizing that they have more options. All right. Give me one more card on the person that is embodying the positive. All right. Who is this? Wow. So it is a Hierophant. So this could have been a marriage, all right? But the Hierophant, this person could be bold, all right? But the Hierophant energy is somebody that is wise in a relationship, that, that provides wise counsel, that provides support, but spiritual support. So this person not only was embodying the positive attributes, they was a Hierophant. They was a spiritual teacher. They probably could have been in a religion. They probably could have had a religious practice where they get on their knees or something 
but they was dealing with a, a queen of swords in reverse. Remember what I said? Um, you would have to, did I say that? I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. I don't want to switch the story and confuse anybody. But this person that's embodying the positive attributes of the Gemini twin energy of the lovers connection union. This person. So it's a baby mother here. And you possibly got a queen of swords, which is a wife. But a wife that is very immature when it comes to communication. That is very unstable with their feelings. And that is very argumentative that don't know how to communicate and that is willing to cut you down with their words instead of bringing you up. This person is not willing to understand. So now in this situation, you got a baby mother that is embodying the negative traits of this Gemini twin energy. And now you got a wife that does not want to hear nothing that no, no one is saying. Only thing she's worrying about is what the fuck she want to say. And she would do anything to hurt your feelings and make you feel like shit in this Queen of Swords energy in reverse. I'm also hearing she would do anything that you told her against you. She was you. She will use your secrets against you. So that's even more of a burden. And you. And it makes sense now, right? Collect this because if this masculine is coming out as the Hierophant, here go the two. Here go the baby mother and here go the queen of swords in reverse. Both of them is holding negative. They are embodying negative traits of the Gemini twin flame energy, soulmate energy. And this masculine is embodying the positive and maybe is trying to counsel both of them. He's trying to counsel both of them. So we're going to break this down right now. So you have a, a twin flame connection that is coming to an end a soulmate connection that is coming to an end because one is ascending embodying the positive traits of the gemini twin energy and one is completely acting out of the lower vibrational trait of the gemini twin flame soulmate energy all right this person is definitely has been the, and the one who's embodying the positive trait has been leaking up with people or a person that is providing him wise counsel, that is educating him on a different outlook on love, a different experience on fulfilling that need, and really showing him that there is light at the end of the tunnel outside of this distorted soulmate connection. This person wants a queen of pentacles, and they literally see a life with them because the queen of pentacles got their own bag. They're not really, they're really, really independent. You know what I'm saying? They're not focused on, on love. They allow love to come in and they're beautiful. So this masculine is really focused on that for some reason because maybe this, this nine of pentacles showing him a different side of life by any means. Y'all gotta, gotta put this in this story how it, it, it seems fit. But this nine of pentacles is showing this masculine a different side of him that he didn't even know. All right? There's a queen of swords that this masculine is tied to that is embodying also the negative trait of the Gemini twin soulmate energy. And there's a baby mother that's also embodying the negative traits. All right. And he is the one that's embodying the positive coming out as the Hierophant, which is somebody that is a wise counsel. And he is trying to mediate and teach them. But now it's coming to turns with now i don't even want to do that i'm not nobody's teacher i'm not going to be a teacher to two grown people to two grown women divine feminines at that i want to be with somebody that can hold their own that actually listens that actually has spiritual sense that actually understands how to communicate on a mature level and it's nine of pentacles energy so this masculine is getting fed up we're having to wise counsel these two grown-ass women, all right? They stay on the phone, probably even with each other. I'm getting that energy as soon as another person comes in this masculine life, they start teaming up, knowing damn well they don't even like each other. That's karmic, all right? This, this masculine is saying not today. Every time they call, he does not want to talk to them because he knows that it's going to be gossip. Because that they embodying the negative twin um, 
Gemini energy, all right? This masculine and the nine of pentacles are self-indulging and, and focusing on self-work. This nine of pentacles and this masculine has been doing shadow work. That's deep, all right? They've been healing and showing their self, self-appreciation here. They're literally feeling like they belong together. And if they not, this masculine is just ready to welcome in new love. This masculine has met the one. This masculine is ready to open up his heart and get together with a soulmate here. He sees that it's happiness. He probably thought it was no happiness before he sees it now. All right. He is definitely not confused no more. Remember, the seven of cups is about confusion, about knowing, not knowing, or not having confidence in your judgment. This person has complete confidence in their options, and they are realizing that they have options now. Okay? They are not worried about being left out on the cold no more. That's not a tactic that this baby mother or this wife and the queen of swords energy could use anymore. This person don't care. This person has abandoned the way they view money. And they realize the more opportunities that they have when they value things other than money. All right. All this person do is thinking about this nine of pentacles. And this person tries to have fun. You see he's drinking. He's trying. But he's in a daze. He's thinking about his nine of pentacles and how much happiness she provides. Because look what kind of state of energy he's in. This other person is operating too much out of, I don't know which one is this one. I don't know if this is the baby mother or the um, queen of swords, but we can find out. Spirit, who is this energy uh, operating out as the queen of swords or the baby mother? Which one? I don't know yet, but they both could be trying to review their finances. They probably both could try to see what's the next tactics to hold this masculine in a relationship to get more money out of them. Okay, they probably got a child. This, oh, thank you. This is the baby mother. This is the baby mother here. This is the page of cups. This is the baby mother. Any last closing messages? I feel like this was an important message, guys. Take heed to it. Look. This masculine is moving forward, not because he wants to cheat and hurt anybody's feelings. He just don't want to be in the twin ten. I said twin. He doesn't want to be in this twin flame soulmate energy no more. Or you could possibly be a twin. But this person is choosing not to sit in defeat. Why would you want to sit in defeat? When you got the opportunity to link up with people, even friends that showing you more happiness. This is about happiness. This is about fulfillment. Nobody want to be keeping, nobody want to stay in the cycle of loss. So that's what I have for you guys. I love you.